This video will demonstrate how to replace the control panel on a Napoleon 700 series built-in grill head. The following tools are recommended to have on hand when performing this service. A 50-50 water dish soap mixture, basting brush, safety glasses, gloves, a quarter inch drive socket, Phillips screwdriver, a 7 8 inch wrench, and a 9 16 inch wrench. To perform this service, it is suggested to remove the grill head and place it on a non-abrasive surface in spacer blocks to ensure you can access the wire harness located on each side. Remove the drip tray from the grill and open the lid to access the interior. Remove the warming rack, cooking grids, and sear plates to access the screws securing the control panel to the interior edge of the grill. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the screws and set them aside. The number of screws in this location will vary depending on the size of the grill head being serviced. With all of the interior screws removed, turn your attention to the sides of the grill head and use a quarter inch drive socket to remove the bracket securing the flex line and wiring in place. Move to the front of the grill head and locate the two quarter inch screws underneath either side of the control panel. Remove both screws using a quarter inch drive socket. Once removed, locate all of the flex hose connections on the manifold. Use the wrenches to break the connections free and remove the connections to the manifold. While under the control panel, locate the support brackets underneath the manifold and remove them using a Phillips screwdriver or 3 8 socket. Next, turn your attention back to the cook box to remove the burners and cross light brackets. These components are held in place using a bolt which secures the burner and cross light bracket in place. The bolt can be loosened using a Phillips screwdriver or 3 8 inch socket, which will allow the removal of the cross light bracket before removing the burner. With all the burners and cross light brackets removed, move to the back of the grill head and remove the back cover using a quarter inch drive socket. Once removed, disconnect the Molex on both ends of the wire harness, which lead to the hood lights. Then feed the wire harness through the sides of the grill head to allow them to move freely. Tilt the bottom of the control panel upward, then lift the entire control panel to free it from the grill head. Locate the new control panel and carefully place the top of it onto the grill head. Tilt the bottom inward to allow it to rest in the correct position. Feed the wire harness through the sides of the grill head, then reconnect the hood lights and power supply to test for correct operation of all the lights. Once correct operation is confirmed, reinstall the back cover and re-secure the brackets on either side of the grill to hold the supply tubes and wire harness in place. Now turn your attention underneath the control panel and reinstall the support brackets and quarter inch screws on either side of the control panel. With the control panel secure, reinstall the supply tubes to the manifold. Use a wrench to secure the supply tubes, turning them around one quarter turn past finger tight to ensure a proper seal. Reinstall the burners into the grill, ensuring each end is placed over the manifold correctly, then reinstall the cross light brackets. Next, reinstall the screws along the inside of the control panel to secure it in place, then reinstall the sear plates, cooking grids, and warming rack. Create a mixture that's 50% water and 50% dish soap, then connect the grill head to a fuel source to complete a leak test. Turn on the fuel and use a basting brush to apply the mixture to all of the gas connections. Look for bubbles forming at each connection, which would indicate a leak and tighten the connection as needed. Lastly, install the drip tray underneath the grill and ensure it is operating as intended before leaving it with the customer. Find this video helpful? Subscribe to the Wolfsteel technical page for more installation and troubleshooting videos.